And then finally, something I'm going to call the personal responsibility principle. You may call this an individual mandate. I don't. I call it the personal responsibility principle. Uh, let me make it real clear. To tell people that in our society today that they have to go out and buy insurance would be unfair and wrong. Because right now, they don't have products they can afford. And if people are poor, they don't have any subsidy that they can uh, rely on to help them get a product. So it would be crazy to say to people, hey, you're insured. You better go get it. They, they can't afford it. But once we put in place the reforms I'm describing with new affordable products as well as a subsidized product where, where your premium can be as low as $2.30 a week, now everybody can get insurance. And that's basically what this slide says. And that is, look, now that we have these products avail available for you, we want everybody to get insurance and you have responsibility of having insurance and we're going to mandate that you have insurance. Uh, we're going to in insist that everybody be, be covered one way or the other and that those who don't uh, comply have certain problems. They're going to lose their personal tax exemption. We will withhold any of their tax refund. We'll keep it in an account at the state level, which we'll be able to tap to pay the hospital if they go there for free care. Uh, the legislature has also put in place consideration of not providing uh, driver's licenses to people unless they can show their health insurance. If people go and get free care um, and, uh, and don't pay for it, we go after them. We garnish wages if we have to uh, to make sure that we get paid. People are either going to buy insurance or they're going to pay for their own care. They're not going to say, I got care and you, Mr. Taxpayer, or you, Mrs. Premium Payer, you got to pay for me.